Divorced California school teacher Jane Hardy deftly avoids a lesbian interlude before telling psychiatrist Garfunkel to pound sand and fleeing to her dead Aunt Rebecca's haunted house in the ambivalent city of Blackford, where she narrowly avoids a mustache ride at Ramona Corner before getting her keys from the world's most belligerent real estate agent. Jane meets the passive-aggressive locals while settling in, including a creepy priest, a lecherous sheriff, a handful of inbred children, a young joyriding shooter McGavin, Dennis Quaid slumming as a repairman, Porky, and the grumpy shopkeeper's horny teenage son, whom she hires for odd jobs and the occasional stalking. Everybody in town hates Jane in her aunt's house, but nobody will say why. Jane is plagued by weird occurrences as she fixes up the house, like teleporting music boxes and soapy visions of Aunt Rebecca, until late one night she is rescued from a hearse and run by a creepy young Tom, who begins courting her immediately with unblinking stares and late night rowboating. More strangeness occurs while Jane reads Aunt Rebecca's diary, detailing her transition from preacher's wife to satanic whore, including dreams of hearse rides to her own funeral and being chased through her house by hearse driver Pepe Le Pew. Things come to a head for Jane shortly after banging Tom and arranging a weekend lesbian rendezvous, when the drunken real estate agent shows up with a crowbar to tell off the house-robbing, grave-robbing city bitch. Jane races then to Tom's vacant house, where she discovers that Tom is actually Aunt Rebecca's long-dead Satanist lover boy, and she is just his mortal rebound. Jane races back to her house to find Tom has murdered the drunken real estate agent and horny teenager for shits and giggles. Tom tries to seduce Jane, but the spooky priest shows up to cockblock Satan, which turns the seduction into a high-speed car chase, and Jane runs Tom and his hearse off the road, saving her once again from a heterosexual relationship. The end.